Monira Wilson. Thank you very much, Madam Deputy Speaker. With food and energy prices spiralling, many parents are worried about putting food on the table. Our children's health and education should be a top priority. Yet not only have ministers rejected Henry Dimbleby's recommendation to give a free school lunch to every child whose parents are in universal credit, they have even rejected his backup, less generous proposal to change the eligibility criteria. So will the Secretary of State listen to parents and think again about denying an extra one and a half million children in struggling households a free school meal. Secretary of State. Well, Madam Deputy Speaker, the, the, the principal driver of pressure on household budgets at the moment is that very sharp rise in energy costs. And the measures that the Chancellor announced two weeks ago uh, are, are a major step towards helping the poorest households in this country deal with that blow to their uh, finances. But specifically on, on free school meals, there has been uh, a change, and so DWP on the 24th of March uh, did make a change uh, to make uh, permanent the extension of free school meal uh, eligibility to include uh, you know, some of the children who had no recourse to public funds um, subject to specified income thresholds. So they have made some changes already uh, to eligibility for free school meals. 